You want some more, Dad? You want some more? You sure? I did good. Okay, good. Hey, you guys. Me and my dad just got through filming a quick little video. Lasted about 20 minutes. I'm new to this. I'm learning. Well, I didn't have a sound on. We had the YouTube, not the YouTube. I had my ear earbuds in, and they were turned on on the other side of the room with some towels on top of them, so no sound at all. We got good footage. We didn't get no sound. We went to the Golden Corral today. I picked up dinner. We have green beans, cheese potatoes, something that looks like dirty rice and it's really good. Barbecue beef, cabbage, pinto beans, yams with uh, marshmallows, macaroni and cheese, some nice bread from um, Texas Roadhouse, and just a piece of chicken. We made some homemade lemonade from the lemons off our tree. This mint, this green you see in here, that's from my garden. And I put some cinnamon sticks in here, and it's really, really good. As you can see, Dad's plate is just about gone. My plate, I wasn't really feeling that great, so I'm doing me a green smoothie. And having me some lemonade. And having me some water. My dad was telling me about when he first got his job. My father's only had two jobs in his life. The first job was at Stainless Steel Polishing Company in Oakland. My father's originally from uh, Calhoun, Louisiana, and he was raised in Monroe, Louisiana. But he's only had one job. He went to Tech High School. He graduated from Tech High School in Oakland. And the job he had was Stainless Steel Polishing. He had that job up until they sent him to the war. He got drafted to go to the Korean War. Well, when he came back from the Korean War, they tried to keep my daddy's job. They told my daddy that they didn't need him anymore and that he was going to have to find him employment elsewhere because my dad was trying to get unemployment. My dad went back down to the unemployment office, told the people what they said, and then the people sent a letter to the company and told the company that they had to hire him back because those were the rules back then. They had to hire my father back. My father had gotten one of his friends on down there named Gino. I never forget Gino. He had got Gino on, and while my dad was gone, Gino had got all his cousins and brothers and family and members and everything on. So that's why they told my dad that he couldn't have his job back because they had too many people already. Well, guess what? First, last to hire, first to fire. My daddy got his job back. So those are the two jobs. He worked at stainless steel polishing for 42 years up until he retired. He was 67 when he retired. And then he decided he wanted a new car. So he went back to stainless steel polishing and he got him um, another job training. And he worked another five years until he could pay his car off because he didn't want that car note. So my dad went back to work. And so he was able to collect his unemployment. He was able to collect his pension and he got a paycheck. That's how my daddy did it. My father used to... Um, Haul. He was a hauler. He used to haul cardboard boxes when we were children. And when he would come home with the uh, truck, us kids, it was five of us, we used to get in the back of the truck and we used to jump the boxes down so he could get more boxes in there. And that was a game for us. We loved it. We loved doing it. My daddy always was doing something. My father always was working. Work, 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 work. That's all he ever did. Well, he was married to my mom for eight years, and then they decided to go their separate ways, which was fine. She went on with her life. He went on with his life. He was happy, I guess, with his life. My mother's very happy with her life, and my new brothers and sisters and everything, because it's nine of us, and I love coming from a big family. I love having all those brothers and sisters. I love when the holidays come and we all get together and stuff, because it's just fun. My dad came to live with me about two years ago. 
he came to live with me. And we've been roommating it together ever since. I try to take care of him as best I can. And what I can't do, I can't worry about because he has his life. I have my life. And then we have our life together. We take vacations together. We just got back from Mexico um, in September. We went to Mexico. August, August. We went to Mexico in August, at the end of August. I took my dad for his 87th birthday to Mexico. Three days after we got there, he said, when we going home? I said, Daddy, we're going to be here for one week. I said, then we're going home. My father is good on a vacation for two, three days max. After that, all he wants is his pajamas, his TV, and something to eat. And my dad is happy. As you can see, he cleaned that plate. Anything else you want here, Daddy? You sure? Okay. Now he's good and full. And I'm happy. I didn't have to cook. But like I said, I do have my green smoothie. So I'm going to pretty much end it here. But like I said, we had some really good footage. We had about 20 minutes worth, maybe a little bit more and stuff, but that's okay. We'll do better the next time. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down, give me a comment, but give me something and stay with me. Thank you very much. I appreciate you listening in. I appreciate you Watching my dad eat. My dad's name is Fred. I'm Renee, Food for Thought. You can follow me on Facebook at Food for Thought the Group. JJ Smith, 30 Day Green Smoothies Challenge. I am the administrator of that group. Food for Thought the Page. And the Personal Chef the Page on Facebook. Thank you, everybody. Until next time, it's going to get better before it gets worse. Thank you. You want some more tea? I mean, uh, lemonade? Uh, okay. No, no. Bye. Thank you. Say bye, Daddy. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs>